Hello, hello, this is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts. And we're, we, I'm back with you, so that's a we. <laughs> I'm back to um, work on a new journal. And this is from the Rose Parfume by Stamperia. And, or Stamperia, it's one or the other. Um, this is their 2022 edition, I believe. Um, I have went ahead and pulled some papers out of this because I wanted to look at the paper pack without thinking about those backgrounds on those papers. Um, this was a kit from Shannon at Mixed Media Minnesota, and it's one that I also previously had in my stash, so I do have another piece to this. Um, but let's take a look at it. Um, gosh, it's beautiful. How can it not, not be? So here we go. Here's all the lovely words and the lovely perfume bottles. I hope you can see that okay. Look at this. Look at this beautiful edging. Little fussy cutting around there. That would be so beautiful. But there's lots of lots of words. Perfume is the key to our memories. Fragrance makes us dream. Give me flowers and I'll give you art. Do small things with great love. A whole bunch of them. Then we have this beautiful page. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh. Now this is a journal you could write your fondest memories in, isn't it? Things that you love the most. Scents that you smell. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. My goodness, all that script on there. Ooh, pretty. And look at this. So, so pretty. So this looks like a journal that might have some lace in it. And always some beautiful pages. Look at this. I kind of think that that could be the cover. It's just so pretty. And I love this. But first let's look at the script over here. Very pretty. Oh, I need to turn my other light on. Aha! There we go. And so, now we can see. <laughs> and here's this one. So, so pretty. And here, more script on there. Oh, so pretty in that background there. Oh, oh my goodness, this could be a cover too. So, goodness, is it a tall and thin journal? So we can use the whole page? Oh. Boy, isn't that pretty? This would be pretty just as um, to cut this out and make this kind of a 3D effect and put it in a um, shadow box. Yeah, that would be so pretty. Oh, I like this. Look at this. All kinds of writing and flowers, perfumes, honey soap, and this. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Oh, so, so pretty. And then the back. This one could be um, a front cover. 
so. And then these were the ones I pulled out because they had cutouts on them. Um, they're just so pretty, you know. They could be used in other journals, not just this one. So, but then, oh, well, this one, it wouldn't matter because it's the back sheet. So this would be great to fussy cut these out. And they could be used in this journal as well as other journals. And then here we have the circles and a bookmark and a, an envelope, a pretty bird. Some words, some little Mayday flowers, and there's the background on that. So that's a nice neutral background. So I think I can fussy cut this one out too. And then we have this one. Now you need these little journal cards, don't you? for all kinds of things. Um, I do have another kit that might go with this. It's a peony, if if I needed it. Um, I can't see that I need it. Oh, did you see that pretty? There it is. I hope it's in the backgrounds. Yes, I think it might be. Let's see. Oh, I don't know, but similar. There's a similar one in there. So we'll see. So, but I, I can see that this needs to be cut out. So I need to fussy cut those three. I'm gonna put them over there. And then I want to fussy cut this one because these are, are nice large journaling cards and they also make great booklets in a journal. So this one has to be cut out. Now this one I'll cut on the um, trimmer and that'll be okay. Okay, so this kit also had, um, I don't know, did these come with the kit? I'm not sure. forgot to bring something to throw up my... Sorry about the noise. I know that was loud. It's not what I was going for. But I like to get rid of the plastic, so away it goes. Oh, look at this. Beauty is a flower and its perfume is virtue. So these... Oh, that is such a pretty journaling card, you guys. Be the, Such a pretty card, too. Look. If you made a card to send to somebody, wouldn't that be beautiful? Speak roses, speak the language of love. And then we have secret happiness. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at all the perfumes. Look at this beautiful pot of flowers. Great journaling card. Um, here it says joy and happiness. Looks like the Madonna with a child. Very pretty. Um, here we have some tags. Someone special. And we'll look at these more as we use them. Happiness is a direction. I like that. Beautiful is a rose. Roses speak a secret language. The only thing is, is Stamperi has gone to put in this, um, which I understand there are watermarks on it. But when you make something for somebody, you don't want it to say Stamperi on every single item. So I don't really like that they've done that. Let's see here. I can cover it up because I'm buying their paper because they have given me their permission to use it, you know. But I don't like 
having their name all over it. It's like buying a fabric and you look down at something you made and on the shirt it says the designer's name. It's like, wait a minute. You designed the one design and I did all the work making this and <laughs> oh, you know, but to look down and see her name right in the middle of the fabric was not a happy thing for me. So anyway, they all do have the um, copyright on them. So yeah, all over. Okay, so there's that. I hope it's not all over the paper too. You know. Be disappointed if it is. Very pretty ribbons. And here are. Thank you for your purchase, says Shannon. You're welcome, Shannon. I love this stuff. Okay, here goes. No, let's not. Let's not tear it open. You'd probably rather hear that than me tearing it open. Okay, so we have another one of the wreaths, very pretty, and another one with the Madonna, or with the lady and a young girl there. We have flowers, lots and lots of flowers, pink and white. Oh, and there's a light pink. Here is Memories. Oh, here's that. One of the pretty vases. Or maybe it's a big tall perfume bottle. And we must have a clock to tell time. And some more flowers. Oh, these are stickers, you guys. Wonderful. Here are some more perfume bottles. Along with this one. We can't forget that one. Very pretty. Oh, goodness. Oh, look. Here's this one. I am so glad that it's in there. That is so cool. I love that. I'd love to have one like that. I would, I would. Flowers, flowers, flowers. Oh, look. Here's another one. Isn't that beautiful? Very pretty. More flowers. A jewelry box filled with letters. Oh, let me put these things over here. Oh, I see another one in our future. Oh, a blue one. How pretty. Well, that'll be cool. A smaller wreath. Dream. Uh, more flowers. And here's just some perfume labels. Very cool. So, what do you guys see happening in this journal? I just don't know. There's something going to happen, huh? Let me throw these away. I need to check the back and see if I want to cut anything out. No, I don't think so. These, Although these would make nice little ephemera pieces in a journal, wouldn't they? Little background pieces. So I'll probably go ahead and cut those out. 
Okay, so this one is I'm not going to save that. I save enough stuff. <laughs> Just talking with my husband about all the stuff I've saved in here. Okay, so this is another one of the ephemera packs. And it has some beautiful frames in it. Look at that. What I like is they have this kind of sheen to them. Very, very pretty. Here's another one. Oh, look at that. So pretty. A letter. Some more flowers. These have a sheen to them, too. More flowers. Oh, look. Look at this pretty bird. Oh my goodness, so sweet. Flowers. Another frame. Put that there, and here's another lady. Probably the same lady. Don't know. Oh, leaves. That's always good. Uh, some more letter here. I can't read it. It's way too tiny. Some more roses. Another beautiful little bluebird. It's not a bluebird. It's a jaybird. It's a jay. Oh, I love this. When I was a kid, I always loved the movie stars and how they looked and it was always kind of thrilling when they were on um, like the Ed Sullivan show or something uh, yeah I was just a kid though I probably wasn't supposed to be watching Ed Sullivan but my folks were watching it and some more roses and another bird oh I broke his leg sorry little bird didn't mean to break your leg and lots of flowers here so let's put all those there and scooch them back and I have a second one of those packs. So I'm going to put that one away for now. And, okay. Here's the other pack that I have. Now, I don't remember what came with Shannon's kit and what did not. But this is looks like it's basically the same as what I've shown you. Except for it's on the little chipboard pieces. So we have quite a few little chipboards here. A little bigger um, letter. Some words. A big... That looks like a peony, but they say it's flower. Um, uh, sorry, a rose. A perfume label. Greetings! Another one. Oh, so pretty. Oh, look at that. Hope you can see these. Probably not with me piling them up in my hand. <laughs> okay, I need to put those over there because these are um, heavy. So I might... Uh, they're thin, though. I shouldn't have to peel them. Another label. Some more perfume bottles. I should show you some of the perfume bottles that I have. Some more flowers. 
lots of beautiful flowers. And some flowers in a little, I don't know what you call it, piece of paper. Are those the nosegays? I don't know. Another label. Oh, now look at this. Does that say like journal cover in my future? It almost does, doesn't it? That would be very pretty. And then there's this. That would be very pretty on the cover of an album. Album. Sorry, of a journal. I'm making my own albums now. <laughs> when I think of album, I think of music. Um, lots of words here. And I don't know what this is. Is it like a fingernail file or something in there? I don't know. That's what I would assume is it's part of a set. So there we go. There's that. And we saw the rub ends already. Oh, they're so pretty. And you'll see those because, you know, I like to put the rub ons on the papers. Um, these are some more, but I think these are stickers. I think I may have gotten this other kit from Journey of Crafting. Um, I'm not, not positive, but, um, I got it before I ordered from Shannon. Oh, so pretty. And then, here are the wood shapes. Very pretty. These would be good on the cover, too. Okay, I'm going to set those aside. Um, the other thing that, that came with with Shannon was um, a piece of uh, decoupage paper or uh, rice paper. That'll be very pretty. I'm not going to open that one until I'm ready. And then it also came with the fabrics. And I'll go ahead and pull those out. Now this is a kind of a polyester fabric. Very pretty. It looks just like one of the pages. How, how pretty is that? Oh my goodness. A little rose on there. They look like um, hankies, don't they? So one of these could be a cover too, but I know I don't want to use the glue with it like I did before when I glued this because it got too stiff. So it would have to be sewn. That is so pretty. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? But they do. They look like they're the size of a, a hanky. Or, you know, a Kleenex that you have in your purse. And... That just leaves us the background collection. So let's have a peek at it. I need to get these all out of the way. Sorry, this is going to be noisy. Maybe not. Yep, it is. Sorry. Close your ears. Oh, done with that part. Okay, let's see what they have in the way of backgrounds. 
Oh, it's in a pad. Oh, look at this. Look at all these. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, look at that. That is so beautiful. Hope you can see that okay. Very pretty. Oh, look at that. Kind of a blue-green color. These are beautiful. Oh my goodness. They're like little um, advertisements for... or a catalog maybe. And here's this one with the writing. Oh, so pretty. Oh my goodness, look at this one. That one's really beautiful. Beautiful flowers. Roses on here. I love the depth that's in these. And this, this is very pretty. Gosh, can't wait to use that in there. And this one has all the script in the background and looks like torn wallpaper here. Very pretty. You just want to feel it and see if you can pick up anything from it. <laughs> you know, any memories it might hold. Even though you know an artist drew it or computered it. But you just, this looks like a wallpaper. It has that. Oh, look at the background, but it, it could also be like a curtain because it looks kind of like it was a silk pattern. This is beautiful. Pretty colors in there. Oh my goodness. Well, we have a lot to do. Oh my goodness. I love these. And small perfume bottles and mirrors. Some brushes. Oh goodness, I got the yawns. I'm so sorry. So we have a lot of options here. So if you would like to uh, craft along with me for a journal, you're going to need some paper. You don't have to have this kit. Um, and I don't always use all the papers in the whole kit. Um, you don't have to have the backgrounds or the um, scrapbooking paper. Just any paper that you have. And uh, I don't know. We'll just see what we can do. You know, maybe you can draw a perfume bottle and color it in. I don't know. I wish I could. But anyway, if you have this, craft along with me. And if not, Craft along with me anyway with whatever kit you have and we'll make a journal together. Okay, I'm going to let you go for today and I'll be back tomorrow. Don't forget you'll need tools like scissors and thread to bind with and you'll need some sort of a glue. And these will be my choices right here. Barely Art, um, Fabri-Tac, uh, Glitter Glue, Art Glitter Glue, and Scotch Create Glue Stick. So those will be my options. And then you might need some uh, ink. You choose the color you want to use. 
Uh, this one I think will be too dark for this. But this came with the Warren lipstick, so I think maybe I might use that. I'm, I'm thinking I'll go pink and green. We'll see. Um, the other thing you might need is some lace, or if you don't have a paper picked out for your cover, you might need um, fabric. So I think I'm just going to go with the paper, or maybe probably I'll probably use an envelope. Um, here's an envelope. I won't, not, I won't use this one. But I think maybe I'll use uh, eight and a half by eleven or nine by twelve uh, Manila envelope. So, and oh, you'll need lace, boys. Sorry, guys. And I am going to also use some velvet trim in mine. Now this is a Tim Holtz. But you can get it on Amazon in a bigger package, and there's a whole bunch of them together. It's the exact same thing. It, I don't think it's a copy of Tim Holtz. I just think that they have it. So, um, and then you might need, did I say lace? Lace pieces like this would be very pretty in here. This would make a pretty trim on a pocket top. Um, here's just a little doily. It's got a stain, but I think it'd be okay. Another stain doily. My favorite fabric is here. It will be here too. Now this would make a lovely journal cover. Look at that. Wouldn't that be pretty? So I might use that. I might put a background paper under it. So now I'm just thinking about what we can do. Instead of using that one rose, I'm thinking maybe we could do something like this. Oh yeah, look at that. That would be very pretty, wouldn't it? Oh my goodness. I love it. That would be lovely. So, that's kind of what I'm, what I'm thinking. I'm heading towards that very quickly. Um, let's look at it with... I want to look at it with this. Oh, goodness. I think I like it with the green better. Most definitely. Or blue. It makes both pieces kind of stand out. Where the other one just kind of sucks it all together. Um, let's look at this. I think that design is too, um, too much. I think it's talking too loud. <laughs> um, this one. That, this one may talk a little loud too with the stuff in the background. Oh no, I love that. So, you know, if you did something like that, then then you could do a different cover like this or this. And you could put your perfume bottles on it. That one, I think I'll have to set on something. So anyway, just an idea. I don't know if it would be the whole or if you just want to do like half of the journal that way. Hmm. 
you did just put it behind here. I don't know. We're going to have to try some things tomorrow. So anyway, that's all I have for today. I just wanted to um, get it out there and think about it and um, tell you I'd love for you to join me and we'll see how it goes. This one might not be with the right fabric either. We might need a, a white piece like this. Oh, ooh, no, not that. That one is too stained. Yep, too stained. We'll find something else. So this could just be um, on the spine. So this would be pretty on the spine. And then these on each side. And then... I don't know if we'd keep these or, you know, cut them off. Um, so anyway, I look forward to you joining me, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with me for a bit. Bye.